This is the best one. I have actually gotten a duplicate of this one because I love it so much. We've got the Therizinosaurus. What is up, dinosaur friends? We've got a bunch of Jurassic World Dominion minis today to open up on the channel. Now, I know this is not something I typically do on this YouTube channel, but I thought it would be fun to uh, to try something different. You know, we're growing the channel. We're trying different things. This is topical, and I want to get more subscribers and viewers on here. So we've got some really cool new Jurassic World Dominion minis. I remember the days in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom when it just came out. My first minifigure for Fallen Kingdom was actually this Apatosaurus, which I absolutely loved. I was in Hawaii in Honolulu. I walked into a Walmart after going on this trip around the world and returning to the United States and I saw this and it was the coolest thing ever to see a little Apatosaurus. So I'm going to show you guys the minis that are coming out for this new generation of Jurassic World figures, the Dominion figures. You have a cool way of being able to find all the figures that you're missing. And yes, actually, some of these boxes do come with two figures inside of them. This is your little key mark so you can see what the different figures are. And I'm going to show you guys in this video how you can actually go and find these figures in stores when you're buying them. It's going to be a bit of a cheat sheet. I'm not sure if this is really accepted by the community, but I think there's a lot of collectors like me who want all of them. So this is a cool way for you to find out which ones are which. So when you look on the bottom of this packaging, um, which we'll talk about the packaging in a second, you have a code, 01. This one will have a 04. These correspond with the image on the top. So this is one, two. I actually had to go to two different stores to get the Therizinosaurus one and the Stegosaurus one with the Atrociraptor. So these correspond to the different ones. We're going to open them up so you can see them. This is the packaging. And again, just remember the codes are down here, the 04 up to 08. There's eight of these. So here we go. Here's the first one. This is the packaging. As you can see, it kind of looks like a little container um, that's carrying these dinosaurs with a door, a little code box here. I actually really like this packaging. It's pretty cool. Um, so let's pop these open. I've pre-cut all the tape, so it'll be easy to get these out. And here we go. We've got the pl plastic wrap and we've got a T-Rex. Now what's different between these and the ones that came out in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as you can see, these guys are a little bit harder. The plastic's more rigid. These guys are really rubbery. Like, I think it's a completely different material that they're made out of. Um, they're, like, really easily movable, and it doesn't mean I don't like them. I actually do like them. I just, this T-Rex um, model is, I'm pretty much, I'm sure it's the same exact design as the last one, so it's not very exciting. It leaves much to be desired for me personally. But that's the T-Rex from the minifigures. We'll set this guy aside. Over here, they also, I've noticed, they do not stand nearly as well as the other ones, especially if you move them a little bit because they're so rubbery, but they do got a, a bit of a jiggle. All right, we'll put the T-Rex over here to the side. So that's our first box, and what comes in the packaging is obviously a plastic mold that looks like the character you've opened up, and you've got your little cheat sheet here telling you the different characters of the minis. There is an Asaurus, Stegosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Giganotosaurus, really exciting stuff. And then obviously you've got the packaged. I really am loving the color scheme for Dominion so far. It's epic. Really, really cool. Um, so you got a bunch of that. That these guys cost you around five bucks. I think it probably depends state per state in the United States, but they are around four ninety nine, I believe. Again, the packaging. I won't go through the packaging every time, but just so you see, this is number two. So here we go. This one should be the Gigonotosaurus. Look at that. Now that, my friends, is pretty cool. This is my first time seeing the mold in person for the Gigonotosaurus in Jurassic World. Now again, obviously these are not going to be exact duplicates of the bigger figures, but as we know, Mattel does use these um, as kind of a mold for the bigger figures. So it's going to look something similar to this. I'm loving the color schemes of the dinosaurs in Dominion as well, because even the T-Rex is a bit different i feel like the fallen kingdom and jurassic world t-rex was a little brighter this guy's a little bit darker everything's a little bit darker and neutral tones like this giganotosaurus pretty freaking cool i'm actually really impressed by this i like it a lot um got that opening mouth and the rest is just a rubber and this one's also a little bit more rigid than the t-rex we'll put this guy here on the side number three as you can see three right there let's open this one up we've got the Stegosaurus with an amazing color scheme. Let's, let's talk about that for a second. Look at that color. It looks like an orange sorbet. I love it. Very rubbery, and it's got that tail that's also very rubbery on a hinge. So you can sort of put it up and down like that. Really cool detail. Love the striping. 
Love the colors. That's really awesome. And then we've got first look ever at a new dinosaur in the franchise. The Atrociraptor. Look at that. They all also like I like that it's in size with the rest of the dinosaurs cuz the ones we got for Fallen Kingdom, for example, the raptors were like the same size as the rex. So, that's cool to see that. All right, we've got number What are we on here? Number 4. Here we go. This one is V and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation for this dinosaur. Yang Chuansaurus. Yang Chuansaurus. Yang Chuansaurus. It's another Chinese dinosaur, if I remember correctly. Really, really cool, and I love that facial crest. Kind of looks like an oversized Dilophosaurus. And I don't know if this means, but is this any sort of indication that we might be seeing these animals in Dominion as well? Somebody let me know down below, because I'm not well informed on this stuff. I try to keep myself a little bit spoiler-free for the movie, but does that mean we're going to see this dinosaur in the movie? You see what I'm talking about them standing up, by the way? They're a little bit too jiggly for their own good. All right, we're going to have to put him on the Atrociraptor there. There you go. You use the Atrociraptor to lean. And we've got, of course, a more boring Velociraptor Blue. I'm not impressed by this one at all. Quite frankly, I don't even really like it. <laughs> it just kind of looks cheap. I like that they have two color coats and stuff, but it's boring. I'm not a huge fan of this blue. It's it's whatever. Um, I could live without it. But it's cool that they throw it in. All right, we've got number five, baby. This is the best one. Here we go. I have actually gotten a duplicate of this one because I love it so much. We've got the Therizinosaurus. The I am the most excited for this figure out of everyone else. Like, this is going to be the coolest dinosaur in the movie, in my opinion. I'm so excited. It's got these giant claws that are on hinges as well that you can move up and down. And there's just a look for you of the colors. You got that red on top, black in this weird sort of Giganotosaurus green. <laughs> Nice yellow eyes that are painted in there as well. Feathery tail. Actually, it kind of looks like there's feathers all over. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see the rendition of this for the Pyroraptor, but my god, that's so cool. Anything Therizinosaurus, I'm going to be a big fan of on this channel. It's one of my favorite dinosaurs of all time, and I'm so excited to see it in the franchise. And then we've got the Lystrosaurus. So we know this guy's going to be in the movie from a leaked image that was on Twitter by Colin Trevorrow. From the movie way early on, it's this beautiful sort of ceratopsian looking, not dinosaur. If I remember correctly, Lystrosaurus is not a dinosaur. It's a uh, somewhere along the lineage of a Dimetrodon, but very, very, very cool. Wow, like they've done such a good job with the sculpt. I think number five is the best one out of all of them. Like that there is an Asaurus and Lystrosaurus combo is the best. It's so awesome. Next one we got is number six. Let's see what's in surprise number six. There we go. We've got a another fantastic Gallimimus. Now, this is the exact mold of the Gallimimus from the Fallen Kingdom toy line. And it actually looks exactly like the Legacy Collection Gallimimus. So, very, very uh, in tune with the first Jurassic Park movie. I absolutely love it. Love this color scheme. But I remember correctly, this one has an issue standing as well. Um, this is what I'm saying. These guys are not very good at standing, some of them. So, we'll just lean them on the Lister Source. And, of course... My god, so exciting. We've got a mini Quetzalcoatlus. Look at that. That is so cool. The head mold could be a little bit cooler because he kind of looks like a duck with some problems. But the fact that the wings retract and, and go up and down, and that's just, come on, that's so freaking cool. I, I'm not in love with the angle that the head is stuck on as well. It would have been cool if it was on a hinge. But, you know, again, this is a kid's toy, and I'm complaining because I am 25 and an adult. <laughs> but this is really cool. I love this. This is so cool. And I don't know what these little holes are on all of them, but it would be cool to kind of put this on, like, a toothpick and have this sitting there, um, standing with a support. But I love this one. Super, super cool. We got number seven. Another really cool one. We've got V. Iguanodon. And now, to my knowledge, we don't have any Iguanodon figures, and if we do, it's a very small one from Mattel. So if this is any indication of what's coming, I'm very, very excited. It looks great. I love the color scheme. I love that the green is sort of fades a little bit towards the head and the striping on the back, the design on the back, just super, super cool. Um, this one's also a little bit of a harder plastic on the inside, but love that you can move the head like that. Love that we got the thumb spike from the Iguanodon. Very, very cool stuff here. Absolutely loving this one. Um, and stands very nicely. Any of the quadrupeds stand very well as well. And uh, very, very boring Baryonyx. I don't really like the mold for this one. I don't really like the color either. 
it's kind of looking like the Fallen Kingdom colors, but a little bit more boring, and everything about it just doesn't really hit so much for me. So Baryonyx here, a bit of a loser to me, not really enjoying it, and it even seems like the hands, it just became a hand, man. Baryonyx, it's all about the claw, dude. Like, we got nothing here. We just got little tiny hands. But again, it's a toy for $5. I can't complain that much. Last one we got here, number eight. Lucky number eight. So this is the last one for the wave of Jurassic World Dominion minifigures. We've got a pretty interesting looking Pteranodon. If this is any indication of what Pteranodon is going to look like in Dominion, that's exciting, but I don't think so because we've seen from the trailer. It's not going to look like this, I don't think. It's going to look like the Jurassic World ones. Personally, I'm a person who hates the body design of the Jurassic World Pteranodon. I just hate it. That looks like a man. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Uh, but the head sculpt looks fantastic. I like that the crest is a little bit longer too. I'm digging the rubber. I am digging the rubber on this one. I like it a lot. But yeah, the colors the colors are okay too. I, I'm happy that it's not that blue and red design of the regular um, Jurassic World Pteranodon. It's cool. And we've got a sort of boring old Triceratops. I do really much enjoy the mold of this one. It's different than the minifigures we got for Fallen Kingdom. I do like it. Uh, it's cool. I like the color patterning. Maybe it would be cooler to see different colors, like than this sort of puke green and poopy brown. But that being said, it's nice. I like it. This one is cool, and I like the pose that it's in a lot. So, guys, that's your look at all of the Jurassic World Dominion minifigures. You can see, you can collect these all. This is, I'm assuming, what's going to be Wave 1, because usually they release different waves of this. I'm sure we're going to get more dinosaurs like Monolophosaurus and uh, um, probably other Velociraptors, maybe Beta. Um, I'm sure we'll get all the Atrociraptors, maybe another Rex, but that's your look at it. We've got, from the top, T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, Stegosaurus, Atrociraptor, Yangchawasaurus, Yangchuasaurus, uh, Blue, the Velociraptor, Therizinosaurus, Lystrosaurus, Gallimimus, Quetzalcoatlus, Iguanodon, Baryonyx, Triceratops, and Pteranodon. Go out and collect them all, guys. They're available now in Target in select locations. I was able to find them in two separate Targets here in South Florida. I'm sure they're probably creeping across the United States right now. But they're awesome overall. I love them. If you guys want to support this channel, you can by sending us some money on our PayPal link down below in the description. Any money would be much appreciated so we can keep making these high-quality dinosaur videos. And if you guys like these uh, toy reviews things, I can keep doing them. I have no problem. I, I kind of wanted to make a review about i've got some very rare old dinosaurs as well here i've got tons of really cool stuff in the packaging still um i would have no problem making videos about that but it's only if you guys are interested all right we'll see you guys in the next one love you guys very much goodbye